What's up everyone, welcome to Taka Gaming. Today I'm gonna show you the game Dark and Darker. I've downloaded the demo on Steam. It's a pretty cool dungeon game. Um, it has some influences of Diablo, if you would ask me. Especially the inventory management. Some kids on the VoIP. Always good. I'll show and start off with the character Cleric. I, I literally, this is my real first game. I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, even the looting the chest is a problem. The graphic looks pretty stunning if you ask me. I'll get my first encounter with the dungeon. Flop. Nice trap in my back. Trying to gather some loot. I have no clue what you can collect, what weapons there are, or what, what, what I would find. It's probably beginner dungeon anyway, so you wouldn't find too many cool things. Like the interaction with objects, it takes quite a while to, to open a door and do something. Closing is still the fast one. On the bottom right you see the map and that circle that gets smaller and smaller. Find the blue portal or you can find the red portal and go deeper into the dungeon. Trying to explore my skills here a little bit, didn't know how to cast them. For cleric or wizard, you need to equip a staff and put it on the second slot. Then with E, you can select the skill and with the right click, secondary attack with the staff, you can actually use that skill. Walking in another trap. Because why would you watch where you walk, right? Now we're gonna fight some enemy. I don't know why I don't equip my weapons. It's uh, amazing skillful. Really just trying to explore a little bit the buttons, what does what. They can also blow up the door. Pretty cool. Punching the wall to uh, harden my uh, knuckles. And you're gonna explore how to not defend. <laughs> Fireball and shield does not work. That was my first experience. Short, yet pretty cool. Now, a second game. I will buddy up with my barbarian buddy, Flarflarian. Together, we're going to dominate the dungeon of Darker and Darker. But first, let us find some stuff. Please allow me to apologize. The audio is cut out for some parts. I'm recording with OBS, three different audio tracks, Discord, my microphone, and the game audio. Somehow the game audio also decided to include the Discord audio. Since we were talking native language, I have cut out the parts as it wouldn't make any sense. First, let us chop some skeletons, see if we can get some nice loot. Some headshots. They're good on damage. Skeleton also does good damage. Build the block. Like me. Beautiful plate boots. Health potions, for me, this is the best item in the game. This. 
I prefer to keep my torch on three healing or um, invisible potion, protection potions I usually put on the four slot. You can demolish quite a lot, barrels, and those phases. <laughs> Here we will find something cool. This is the secret doorway, so my buddy. Warflarian can loot some nice chests. I could leave and let him just die, but we're playing together, right? I decided to use my healing potion so I can slowly heal up. To full health. It always takes a while. Now with some additional equipment, as you can see, my buddy does share the loot with me. After I some equipment, we will go further. We decide to go to the big room where we find that we are not alone. In fact, it will be quite chaotic. There are two enemies walking, player 3, 4. I decide as a player I just need to attack. The Barbarian. And I miss. And we keep walking circles together in between the monsters. There are also some rogues. They seem to be a little bit scared. My buddy now killed one here in the corner. I do give him some heal because they're quite low both. point we figured there are a few people dead the other ones seem to run why not benefit a little bit from that they all have the same pro gear as we have they're all running in our beginner gear so there's nothing special to take off from the body but their inventories are nice to loot Especially this guy collected quite some valuables for me. Thank you. As you can see on the minimap on the bottom right corner, the circle is closing in on us. Now it's actually time to go further. We might find some of the other players later on. We will see. I found this big ass chest, but you need the lockpick skill, which we both don't have. This guy's pretty naked, I was hopeful that there still would be something on him, but nope.
Here my buddy got killed by the skeleton. And that actually brings us to a quite hilarious situation. Because I'm a cleric, I can revive. But yeah, the skeleton must die. And as you can see, it's likely about out of the circle. Which is rapidly closing in on us. But since I'm so slow, I'm trying to resurrect him. Being it the first time in a party, I figured, oh, that takes quite a time. The circle is closing and closing, and we're not even halfway resurrecting. I get the voice command, if I were you, I would run. Because I can literally suffer uh, one or two more damage, but that's it. There he is, <laughs> here I am. And later, more hilarious, I found out that you can also resurrect on a distance. <laughs> So we're going further to explore, if we can find an exit. But also here, we need to kill the skeleton first. And it's one hit. And a mystery. to run. This is my first game that I actually made it in a portal on about level 5 I think here already. So it, it's really nice. Thanks for watching, drop a like and subscribe, I will definitely be uploading more Dark and Darker. Thank you!